This is a clip from Mia Khalifa. Mm -hmm. And she said that if you marry the wrong person early, there should be no shame in getting divorced. If you're with the wrong person, get divorced. And this clip is going viral. And it's this, if you haven't seen it. I have not seen it. Married at 18, divorced at 21. Second marriage, married at 25, divorced at 28. Third engagement, engaged at 29, ended it at 30, but I kept the ring. I'm still keeping Tom Brady on his toes. We should not be afraid to leave these men. We are not stuck with these people. Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing. It is it is paperwork. It's something it's 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 a commitment you make to someone. But if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying, you got to go. You got to go. You have to go. I know it's difficult to fill out paperwork and to make appointments and to do all of these things, but this is your life. Do you want to be stuck with someone? It's period. Do you want to be stuck with someone? Who's, is this girl the... Uh, she's is a, she a porn star. Okay, porn star. yeah. I, I, it depends on what she's saying here on a couple different things. One, one of the most important books I read on relationship was 101 Questions to Ask Before You Get Engaged. I read this book, and the woman I thought I wanted to marry... I was like, no, that's not what you're looking for. You, you want this. Like, wow. Out of 101 questions, like 54 of them were important to me. So then I was talking to four girls at that time. I gave them all the books. And I said, I need you to read this book, and let's have a meeting together to go through the answers. I knew three of them wasn't going to work out. My wife and I had a six-hour meeting with that book. And then I'm like, okay, cool. Let's date for a year and a half, then I'm going to marry this girl. We date for a year and a half. We have a bunch of fights. You know, and then eventually I'm like, no, nope, I'm going to marry this girl. But I knew after I read the book, this could be somebody I can invest my time into. But most people don't marry based on values and principles. Most people marry based on uh, nice breasts, based on a beautiful butt, based on a beautiful face, based on an incredible chemistry in the bedroom. Sex was great. You went to a nightclub. You danced good together. You have a blast together. You laugh together. All of that stuff aren't the reasons to marry, okay? Those are great reasons to date. I dated two girls whom one of them, I knew from the beginning, I was never gonna marry this girl. And by the way, I love this girl. We had an incredible time together, but I knew we were never gonna marry each other. Did we have fun? Unbelievable fun. Did we do crazy things together? Out of control. Was it a blast? Yes, yes. Was I gonna marry her? No. Was she gonna marry me? No. Eventually we sat down and we said, look, this is not working out and I wanna get married and I, I don't think we're going to be together. I said, I'm not going to date anybody until you date somebody first because I want to be respectful to you. Boom. She goes date somebody first. I said, now you're dating. Boom. Now I got noom and I started dating. Another girl I uh, was uh, dating, eventually, one day, after being together for two and a half years, we had the awkward moment. Uh, sex is amazing. We're having a lot of fun. Uh, we're like two kids. Every, you would see us, you know, you'd see us at Venice Beach. She's on top of me. We're just wrestling. We're having a blast. We're laughing. Of course, we're having a fight and some couple unfortunate events happened that, you know, uh, took away life out of the relationship. And we lost a lot of momentum. But it got to a point one day, by the way, I'm an atheist at the time when I'm dating this girl. One day I'm like, I want to know if we're together because we actually have substance and things to talk about or if it's sexual and fun. I said, look, I want us to go a month without sex. And she says, what? See, I want us to go a month without sex. Are you joking? No, nah, I'm serious with you. You're joking. There's no way you can do this. I don't know if I can do this. I'm saying let's try to see if we can do it. To see what we do late at night, great. First time we go out, hey, um, movie's done. Had an expedition. You want to, nah, I'm going to drop you off. Now, you got to realize my pants, they're about to blow up. I mean, I'm like ready to do something with her. I'm like, babe, we got to spend some time. I'm freaking on fire with testosterone. I'm a high testosterone type of guy. And I'm dropping her off and I'm just cursing myself out. You're a mo what the hell is wrong with your man? You should have done this. Next night, same thing. Next night, same thing. Two, three weeks later, we don't have anything to talk about. I'm like, great relationship. I don't know if we can be married. So then I say, let's go to church together. See if we can figure something out here. Are you being religious? No, I'm just trying to figure out if I want to get married. You want to get married to me? No, yeah, I want to get married to you. I got a ring. But I don't know if we can make it work. I don't know what marriage is all about. We need something to have a basis. And we go to church one time, so uncomfortable for her. I'm like, I'm not going to make you do this. And then eventually we, we broke up. She's happily married. She's got beautiful kids. We're still in contact. I'm very happy for her. 
And the other one is also happily married, got kids, all that stuff. Why is this person getting all these eyeballs? A that, porn well, star is getting, famous. who cares? It, it, she's saying some opinion that people want to hear, apparently, is I that you gives, can break a marriage. Oh, in, in her space? What is marriage in her space? There is no meaning in marriage in her world. Why should even anybody react to that video? You're talking about a porn star who goes around and marriage after marriage after marriage. In that world, what is the basis? What is the standards? I think the worry is that she is teaching people that getting married is not that big of a deal. And if it yeah. doesn't work out, just divorce. Oh, so think, you, you don't like that? What do you think about that? I think in a sense, well, my parents are divorced. Okay. I think if the marriage is not working, I think it takes two people to equally want that marriage to succeed. And I feel like if one person doesn't, or if one person has checked out, one person gets addicted to drugs and there's nothing that could be done, I think there are circumstances, or cheating. I think there are certain circumstances where divorce, I think, is the right choice for people to separate. So do you think uh, she is potentially influencing others to leave their husbands? Do you think she's potentially doing that? Yes. I do. You do? Got to it. A to a certain degree. Got it. And do you think that's bad to influence? I think if someone's influenced by that, they probably shouldn't be together Got to it. begin with. So, uh, but I think, do you think she's also influencing some other girls to maybe not be doing the stuff that they're doing and now they're leaving their husbands and be reckless. Who cares if marriage doesn't work out? Go have your fun, live your life. It's about you. Do you think she's influencing some young girls to ruin their lives? Yes, possibly. Possibly? Yeah. Graham, you're a smart yeah. guy. It ain't possibly. Yeah. She is. Sure. He's a diplomat. Okay, he is a diplomat, but he's, he's kind of uh, getting in his own way instead of just being straight up with it. You know you're right. It goes back to my point, okay? where the wrong people are becoming heroes and they're influencing and converting and baptizing younger generation to live dumb lives. That's the problem. Mm. We are turning the wrong people into heroes. So if that person has that kind of influence, do you want even more of that influence in schools, in high schools, in junior high schools? No. You're validating my point from earlier on on why the content we're teaching in our schools is ruining our younger generation by confusing the hell out of them. And that girl right there is a hero today to many people because she's getting the eyeballs. Hmm. She's now, now, what would happen if she all of a sudden came out and she says, I've lived a terrible life, I've made a lot of dumb decisions, I've been selfish my entire life, I've changed my life, I'm now going to church, I've found God, or I want to live a different kind of a life, I'm no longer drinking, I'm no longer smoking, I'm no longer doing drugs. I want to figure out a way to be a mother one day because I want to invest into something that's got a high rate of return and I want my daughters to be proud of me. I'm not proud of my past, but I want to change and I want to set the example for my kids to know that even a person like me one day can choose to change, so can others. There is an element of hero-making machine in that story. We need more of those stories, not these types of stories.